Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video I'll show you how you can run Jupyter Notebook on your Samsung DeX. Let's begin. First thing what you need to do is you need to sideload FDroid store and download Termux from there. Don't go into Google Play Store and download Termux from a Google Play Store because developers of the Termux stopped updating this app inside the Google Play Store so it's way out of date and it's not working as it should. You need to sideload FDroid and get Termux from that store. Once you have a Termux ready and running, go into the description section below this, below this video and click on the link which will take you to my, sound, my GitHub repository with all the step-by-step -step guide on how to get yourself the Jupyter Notebook running on your Samsung DeX. So I have a commands running here. There is, I think it's two or three commands you need to run. I'll open a Termux, as you can see it's a fresh install and it's nothing in it. So I'm gonna click LS, there's no files, no folders. I will go inside the GitHub, uh, copy the first command, just upgrade all the Termux repositories and press paste. Click and hold, then press paste, and then press enter. This will take 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds, and you will get a question uh, asked, do you accept the default option? Just press enter. I should get one any second now. Ask to press enter. Here we go. Press enter, and when, wait for another one. Press enter, and here we go. All the Termux packages has been upgraded. Clear the screen, go back into a GitHub, and copy this long command here. Go back into a Termux, click and hold, press paste, and press enter. And this will download all the required files and packages to install Jupyter Notebook and will install Jupyter Notebook on the second step. So once that's done, I'll come back. But first, there is a request, a question. Do I accept with additional storage? I'm going to say yes by pressing Y and press enter. And this will take about five minutes or so. So sit back, relax and wait for this to finish. At the end of installation, you might get a message saying that pip is out of date to upgrade that. We're going to go back into a GitHub, select the next command, click copy. Go back into Termux, click and hold, press paste and press enter. This will take 10 seconds or so to complete. So let's wait for this to happen. And in a second, it should be done. Here we go, it's completed. That's it, we have a Jupyter Notebook running on my Samsung DeX. To start Jupyter Notebook, I inside the Termux, I need to type Jupyter space Notebook and press enter. And I will be presented with two URLs I can pick either of them to start to go into a web browser. Inside the browser, I need to type any either of these two URLs to access the Jupyter Notebook web UI. I will select the first one, click copy, open Samsung Internet, open new tab, and paste that in. And not pressing enter, I will go and select the tokens, all these numbers and letters all the way up to equal sign, press Ctrl X to cut, then delete the rest of the stuff all the way up to 8888 and press enter. In the welcome page, I will scroll down inside the token. I will paste the token that I just copied. A new password, I will set password123 and click login and set new password. Once I logged in and set new password, I will click quit, which will initiate the command inside the Termux to terminate the notebook. So as you can see right now, it stopped. I will type Jupyter Notebook again, press enter to start Jupyter Notebook. And now I can go into Samsung Internet Browser and instead of going all this long URL with the token, I can write localhost semicolon 8888, press enter. And I can right now use the password which I created instead of using a token and I'm logged in. First thing, let's say uh, create a folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. Tick this folder, click rename. I'm gonna say Jupyter underscore stuff, press rename. Go inside this folder, create a new file, Python 3. So it's opening a new tab and creating a new file. I'm going to click on Untitled. I'm going to say Hello World. Click Rename. And let's do a quick command of the Hello or quick script of Hello World. I'm going to say Mr. P equals uh, Hello World, not Work World. Shift Enter. Go to next line. I'm going to say Print Mr. P. Shift Enter. As you can see, it's printed Hello World. We're just going to save this. And that's it, Jupyter Notebook is running on my Samsung DeX. One thing, if I'm gonna click Logout, I can go back inside the Termux. To terminate the Jupyter Notebook, I can press Ctrl X to stop it, and it's asking me, are you sure? I'm gonna say Y for yes, or yeah, letter Y for yes. And right now, if I'm gonna clear the screen, and click LS to list the files inside the folder. As you can see, there is a folder called Jupyter Stuff. If I will go inside this folder, I have the file which I just created by the name of hello underscore world. And this is how you get Jupyter Notebook running on your Samsung DeX. If you have any questions regarding Samsung DeX, you will find the link in the description below, which will take to Samsung DeX subreddit group. There's a lot of people there ready to answer your question and 
which is helping make sure that the Samsung just keeps progressing further and further. I hope you're considering to subscribe to my channel. This is what I do here. I testing Samsung decks to a limit beyond. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.